Hey, Gary Baker here with you from 30minutemarketing.net. In today's quick video, we're focused on setting up your Facebook pixel on Groove pages, both at the site level and at the page level. So here you are on your page you've just created. You have your pixel helper inside your Chrome browser and you see nothing, no pixels found for your Groove pages. What's the next step? First, you're inside your events manager. You have your base code that you want to install on the website. So you go ahead and you copy that code to your clipboard. Then you go back to Groove Pages and you're inside the editor and you're on that page and you're inside that site. Of course, in your site, you have your main page right here with your buy button. Then you have your thank you page where people are going to land after they purchase your thing and they download. So you wanna track all that. So if you wanna do that at the site level, for your base code, you go into site settings and you come down here and you paste that right in the head section where you need to paste the code according to the Facebook instructions. You go ahead and you save that by checking it. Then you save it, go ahead and publish that to update the code on your website. You'll see here content saved. Changes usually go live within a few minutes but may take longer. Then we'll go back to our sales page. We'll go ahead and we'll refresh that. Now you can see up here in the Facebook Pixel Helper, our pixel code is firing and you can see the pixel here in and in and the page info and everything is working great. Of course, we had a thank you page and on the thank you page is where they download. So we'll go ahead and we did that at the site level. So that code should now be running there as well. And there you can see it. But let's say you want to put an, a special event on the download page to know exactly when someone has made it to the download page to track exactly each step-by-step -step along the journey of your customers when they purchase your product. We'll go back to Facebook. Then what we'll do is we'll add an event code by continuing. And in this case, you have your manual event codes, view content, add to cart, initiated purchase. So we'll say here we want to make sure that we track the fact that they made a purchase. Then what we wanna do is we wanna grab this script right here and according to what it says, we wanna place this code on the order confirmation page. Of course, that's our download page that we've created in Groove Pages. Add the event code just below the head tag. So we'll go ahead and we will pop this right inside the head tag at the page level on our thank you page inside of Groove Pages. So in this case, what we wanna do is on the at the page level, of course, we have the site and inside the site, we have three pages, our main sales page here which we have the Facebook pixel attached at the site level. Then we have the thank you page here. And again, over at the site level, at the site settings, we have the Facebook pixel code right here, but now we want to add at the page level so it only fires on the thank you download page. So over here, you go under pages, you go under your thank you page, you hit the option settings here, edit settings, you scroll down to the head section, you paste that code in right there, you go ahead and you save that, save it at the site level, republish, content saved, changes usually go live within a few minutes but may take longer. So now we'll go back to our main sales page, we'll refresh that just to verify at the sales page level that we only have the pixel firing for our page view, which you can see right there. Then we'll go to our thank you page. You can see right there that we only have the page view. We'll go ahead and reload that. Now you can see that the Facebook pixel is not firing any longer on the thank you page. So what we need to do is go back to Groove Funnels and inside of Groove Pages, our thank you page, we'll go ahead and click edit settings. And here what we have is at the page level, the script is being overwritten. So it's no longer firing the Facebook pixel. So we need to make sure that we have the entire pixel as well as the script at the page level. So we'll go back to Facebook. We'll go ahead and we'll back up and we'll grab the base code again. And with the base code, we'll go ahead and we'll copy that. Then we'll go back to Groove Pages. And what we'll do is we'll add that base code above that script right there. Make sure that we move this comment so that we have it completely set up the way it's supposed to be. 
So now we have our base code as well as our tracking code for purchase on, only on our thank you page. We'll go ahead and we'll save, save that at the page level, save it at the site level, go ahead and republish that. Content save, changes usually go live within a few minutes but may take longer. Now we'll go back to our thank you page, we'll refresh that. Now you can see our Facebook helper. We have three pixels, which is the page view as well as the purchase event. And if we go back to our main sales page and refresh that, you'll see that with the Facebook pixel, we only have the page view. Again, page view on our sales page. So we know that someone landed here and viewed that. Then after they taken our action, yes, I'm ready to buy and they made the purchase and they land on our thank you page. We are tracking the fact that the purchase was made and we can tag that inside of our Facebook ads manager and keep track of exactly what's happening inside of our funnel, all inside of Groove Pages. Again, at the page level, under settings, as well at the site level, under site settings. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, just like the videos you see here on the end screen. Click those, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.